Coolest Girl in Town. Chapter 2 She Has Never Been Afraid of Anything. Elise almost burst into giggles when she saw the looks on everyone's faces. Still, she held it in and pretended to look hurt while following the siblings into the mansion. One of the servants took her to her bedroom, specially arranged for her by Jonah Griffith, the Griffith siblings' grandfather. It was apparent from the room's girlish blue decor and its closet full of designer handbags, clothes, and jewelry that a lot of care had been put into it. As the four Griffith siblings sat downstairs, they heard Elise's exclamations again. Wow, this room is so huge and beautiful. Are these clothes, handbags, and pieces of jewelry all mine? All four of them looked devastated. Jack said, she won't he take a fancy to me. Right, I am the most handsome among us. But it was only today that I felt it as wrong to be handsome. You ray the most handsome one. Have you no sense of shame? When it was time for dinner, Elise and the four Griffith siblings were still the only ones present. Jonah and the siblings' parents had been on vacation abroad, while Alexander Griffith, the eldest son of the Griffith family, was at the company. He was the Griffith group as president, as well as the person calling the shots in the Griffith family. The siblings had their own places to stay. But they were forced to move back and stay here at Jonah as request due to Elise's arrival. Everyone found it hard on their eyes when they saw Elise still wearing the red embroidered clothes as she came downstairs. A world-renowned fashion designer, Brendan couldn't help but ask. Miss Sinclair, there are plenty of clothes upstairs. Can't you change into one of them? Elise glanced at her clothes before responding in puzzlement. But I look pretty in this. My grandma made this for me by hand. The four men were rendered speechless. Who knew some people still make clothes by hand these days? That's enough. You bumpkin. Let me tell you that the four of us would never get engaged to you. Nor would Alexander ever like you. Be sensible and get out of here by yourself. Said Denny. Who had the sharpest tongue in the Griffith family. Upon hearing his words. Elise bit her lip and replied, But I'll have trouble explaining this to my grandpa. I think you Ray just interested in our family as money. I am telling you, you Ray going to be very sorry for dragging out your stay in our home. Elise looked aggrieved as she ate dinner with her head down. It didn't help that her face was just too ugly. So the four Griffith siblings were totally not in the mood to eat. How can we get through to this lady? After they left, Elise had a great time eating dinner. The food at the Griffith residence was quite to her taste. Moreover, the effect she desired had been achieved. No one in the Griffith family liked her, so she would be through with them after a year. She retired to her bedroom after dinner. Just then, her cell phone beeped on the bed as it registered an incoming text message. It read, Have you arrived in Athesia, boss? How is everything? Did the Griffiths bully you? Elise smirked while reading the text message. The Griffiths have got nothing on me. The person quickly texted back. You ray awesome, boss. But the Griffiths aren't to be trifled with. Especially Alexander Griffith. That man is a deep one. You should watch out for him. Elise was dumbfounded for a moment. Alexander. He must be the eldest son of the Griffith family and the one who had a company meeting today. Well, I didn't get to see him. But who cares? I've never been afraid of anything since I was born. She went to sleep after turning off her cell phone. Perhaps it was because she had always had trouble sleeping in a strange bed. For her head felt muzzy throughout her sleep. And it wasn't he until about 4.00 m that she was awakened by thirst. She had removed her makeup at the time. And she went downstairs in her slippers. Thinking that she wouldn't run into somebody in the middle of the night. After drinking some water. She went upstairs and lay down in a sleepy daze. She didn't switch on the lights. For some reason. The bed felt different to her. It seemed to have become more comfortable to sleep on. No one knew how much time had passed when the door opened and someone seemed to lift the quilt. Elise was a light sleeper, 
so she woke up groggily upon sensing someone as presence. However, before she could come to her senses, a deep and attractive male voice asked, Who is there? Elise was completely stunned. How dare one of the Griffiths break into my room in the middle of the night? She shot back. That is my question. Who are you? Dante you know it as rude to break into someone else as room in the middle of the night. Since the lights were switched off, Elise didn't get to see the man as face clearly. Then, she heard him reply with a sneer. You ray Elise Sinclair. Welcome to download Joyred app to read more chapters of Coolest Girl in Town novel online.